system, I would take him over any quarterback on that team and in that system, including the quarterback we have in, uh, in Kansas City right now, Patrick Mahomes. Over the last five years, the 49ers have been tantalizingly close to NFL supremacy, reaching two Super Bowls and two NFC championships without securing the ultimate prize. It has been a fun ride for the faithful, but it almost went horribly wrong. A high-stakes gamble to find the perfect quarterback to get the team across the line risked it all. And if it wasn't for an unexpected savior in Mr. Irrelevant, life for the red and gold could have been very different. Life is rosy, as things stand, but what could have happened if Brock Purdy had never donned the 49ers colors? John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan owe Brock Purdy a lot. The final pick in the 2022 draft was not just a forgotten man, but a Mr. Irrelevant selection that no one thought would ever see the field, let alone share a Super Bowl stage with Patrick Mahomes. Never before has there been a more important seventh round draft selection. With Purdy's excellent performances shielding Lynch and Shanahan from the criticism that was sure to come after they pulled the trigger on one of the worst trades in NFL history. In moving up for Trey Lance, the pair jeopardized their legacy and they have Purdy to thank for preserving it. Quarterbacks drafted over the last few years have struggled mightily with only Trevor Lawrence, CJ Stroud, and Purdy establishing themselves as quarterbacks of the future. It's too soon to tell on the other signal callers in the 2023 draft, but the likes of Zach Wilson, Mac Jones, Malik Willis, Sam Howell, Desmond Ritter, and of course Trey Lance have proven that transitioning to the pro game isn't always easy. In the case of these three players, their struggles have resulted in coaches getting fired, and if it wasn't for Purdy, Lynch or Shanahan could possibly have been on their way out as well. The decision to make the ambitious move for the third pick in the 2021 NFL Draft was largely born out of desperation and not wanting to let a talented 49ers roster go to waste. Jimmy Garoppolo had a track record of missing time due to injury, and after he could only manage six games in the 2020 season, it was time to do something about it. The only problem was their ambitious and expensive move up the draft board was to select a raw prospect who had started only 17 games in his career. Lance had also only played once in the last calendar year because of COVID. And to make matters worse, his ability to stay healthy was even worse than Garoppolo's. Lance started four games as a 49er and suffered significant injuries in two of them. He also failed to show any signs of being the quarterback of the future, completing just 54.9% of his passes for 797 yards, five touchdowns, and three interceptions across all eight games that he appeared in over two seasons. It was a disastrous situation. The 49ers' decision to commit the equivalent of three first-round picks to Trey Lance in the 2021 draft had essentially resulted in a misfiring and constantly injured quarterback room and no notable draft capital to make up for. It was certainly a messy situation and one that would take a miracle late-round quarterback to solve. How convenient, therefore, that Brock Purdy had arrived as Mr. Irrelevant in 2022. Purdy was the polar opposite of Lance. He had four years of starts under his belt and none of the physical traits that made scouts so enamored with Lance. At just six foot tall, with a moderate arm and a perception of already being at his ceiling, Purdy was a forgotten man in the draft. What people had missed was his elite processing ability and anticipation. What he didn't have in physical traits, he made up for in spades with his footballing IQ and core quarterbacking fundamentals proving to be the miracle that Lynch and Shanahan needed to save the situation. Like, all right, what's up? And he's like, uh, I think our third string quarterback's our best quarterback. When both Lance and Garoppolo were sidelined with injuries by week 13, it was the rookie, seventh round quarterback, who stepped in and led the team to eight straight wins and an NFC championship appearance. Since then, the 49ers haven't looked back and the blushes of Lynch and Shanahan have been spared. But what would have happened if it wasn't for the Purdy selection in the seventh round of the 2022 draft? You could argue that Lynch and potentially even Shanahan would have been on the hot seat. And the team had a record of 7-4 and four when Garoppolo went down, and it's fair to say that the third stringer in a non-Brock Purdy-based scenario would have been unlikely to take the team to the NFC Championship game.
The fact of the matter is that Lynch and Shanahan gave up three first rounders in 2021 to solve their quarterback problem. And two years later, the problem had got worse and there was far less draft capital available to fix it. It is a tricky line to thread when considering the future of Lynch and Shanahan in a pretty list scenario. It is Lynch's excellent roster construction and Shanahan's excellent coaching ability that has produced a team that was just a quarterback away from being a true contender. But it is rare that a trade of such disastrous magnitude doesn't produce some casualties. Aside from the questions surrounding off-field personnel, there will be far bigger concerns with the team's on-field personnel. Without the saving grace of Brock Purdy, the 49ers would have stumbled through the rest of the 2022 season before entering another offseason with quarterback questions. With no first or second round picks to speak of in 2023, it would be another year with Lance as the starter and a decision to be made on retaining Jimmy G or opting for a slightly more reliable backup. Whilst not particularly exciting, Jimmy could operate the 49ers offense well. It was just a case of injuries and whether his presence would apply too much locker room tension on the role of Lance as a starter. By now, Lance had started only five games across the three-year period dating back to college, and he had only finished three of them. This made him a huge wild card and a point of vulnerability on the team that was otherwise ready to compete for a Super Bowl. It's hard to imagine that Lynch and Shanahan, if both still in their roles, would not take another swing at solving the problem and ensuring the 49ers Super Bowl window didn't go to waste. Free agents following the 2022 season included Derek Carr, Andy Dalton, Jacoby Brissett, Gardner Minshew, and Baker Mayfield to name just a few. None of those names are particularly exciting, but would they have given San Francisco a better chance at competing than Trey Lance? Probably. Of course, there is the possibility that Lance would have stayed healthy and come good on the potential that made him a top three selection in the draft. But the 49ers' willingness to trade him away to a rival in the Cowboys for a fourth round pick suggests they weren't particularly confident in that happening. Someone who would definitely have gotten 49er fans excited is Aaron Rodgers, who was traded from the Green Bay Packers to the New York Jets after the 2022 season. Rodgers grew up rooting for the 49ers, and the idea of him lining up alongside Christian McCaffrey, Debo Samuel, George Kittle, and Brandon Ayuk is simply mouthwatering. He would have instantly made the 49ers Super Bowl favorites heading into the 2023 season. The only problem with that move is that it is pretty hard to see Green Bay sending their future Hall of Fame quarterback to a longtime NFC rival in the 49ers. With Rodgers likely too hard to acquire, this could have finally been the opportunity for Kyle Shanahan to land Kirk Cousins, the Vikings quarterback to whom Shanahan has been linked ever since their time in Washington together. Like Rodgers, Kirk would have been the ideal missing piece, slotting into the best offense in the league and instantly making them a Super Bowl favorite. The elephant in the room here is that, whilst these moves would have been thrilling for 49ers fan, their distinct lack of draft capital because of the Trey Lance trade would have made these pretty much impossible. Also, any significant quarterback signing would have brought it with it a massive contract to a 49ers team that is already strapped for cash because of their loaded Super Bowl-ready roster. This would make the return of Jimmy G or another cheap free agent quarterback more likely. As it happens, in 2023, San Francisco did bring in a free agent, Sam Darnold, on a one-year $4.5 million contract. The likelihood is that even without Purdy in the picture, this might have been the move anyway, giving Lance another shot at the starting role and bringing in Darnold to compete. Whilst this might not sound particularly exciting for the 49ers, it would have been the consequences of swinging and missing in such dramatic fashion. The lack of draft picks in 2023 would have made it very hard to trade for a top-level quarterback. And even if they wanted to sign the top free agent in Derek Carr, that would have brought about several issues with the cap, which would have jeopardized the rest of the team. One of the primary benefits of Purdy is that his contract sits at just $985,000 a year. The 49ers can't even enter discussions about increasing that until after the 2024 season, which means he is their perfect golden ticket. His annual earnings are less than the likes of Skylar Thompson, Nathan Peterman, and even Joshua Dobbs, who the 49ers have brought in to back up Purdy in 2024. 
Dobbs will earn $2.25 million in 2024, including his signing bonus, which is over double what Purdy earns. This outrageously cheap quarterback room, even with the dead cap money going to Trey Lance over 2023 and 2024, has allowed San Francisco to keep the band together. Prior to the 2023 season, Nick Bosa received his giant contract. And as we head into 2024, Brandon Ayuk could be next. In a world where the 49ers were forced to sign a veteran quarterback instead of being saved by Purdy, Bosa's signing would have meant casualties elsewhere on the roster, and Ayuk or Debo Samuel would have almost certainly been out of the door prior to 2024. Instead, Purdy's salary, which happens to be the second lowest on the team, means the 49ers have been able to retain one of the most loaded rosters in the NFL. They fell just short in 2023, but a full complement of players will be lining up in 2024, and they currently stand as the betting favorites for the Lombardi. Brock Purdy has single-handedly saved the 49ers. Kyle Shanahan and John Lynch can thank him for not only reducing the temperature that surrounds their status, but also for keeping the band together and extending the Super Bowl window of the team. Without him, the 49ers would have been forced to keep trying with Trey Lance and watch their Super Bowl window slowly slip away. With the only other option being an underwhelming swing for a mediocre free agent who would have likely put a strain on the cap situation. It's fair to say the 49ers should be thankful for their Mr. Irrelevant because the alternative reality could have been pretty bleak. Where do you think the 49ers would be without Brock Purdy? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.